Oh yeah, they're also in 358 over two days, but you barely ever see them. The invisibles, that is. I'm pretty sure an invisible was pretending to be Shion. Oh! Yo, hey, how you doing, everybody? <laughs> yeah, got a minute? Hades, Lord of the Dead, nice to see you. Hey, guess what? I got a place to see you. I love Hades. Hades is one of the best villains, if not just flat out best characters, in Disney. Now, when do you, you hit him when he turns red or while he's blue? I don't remember. I think he's just immortal right now. Oh, wait, no, he's not. No, no, no. You can hit him right now. But his HP bar is bigger than what they programmed you to be able to see. So we don't get to see his HP until we've taken out like two invisible HP bars. Really like how Goofy gave MP gift to the dead Donald. Yeah, now he's invulnerable. He's got a time dodge roll in this. I think. Hey, you having fun yet? Hey, you having fun yet? Nice. You love to see it. Oh, we've already we're able to see his HP bar already. Nice. Normally it takes longer than that, I thought. Dang it. Leaf Racer timing on that was pretty lucky. Fireball. Nailed it. 180 tech, that's crazy. I'd really like to stop feeling the heat, if you wouldn't mind. Can you just jump and glide? No! Don't ever do that! No. Oh, I wanted you to... Honestly, you could have just kept doing that for the whole fight. I would have been fine with it. Help me. Hades isn't too difficult. We're gonna get him. Here we go again. Dang it. Leaf Bracer can get you through some, thankfully. I'm really bad at timing this. Oh, what the? Goofy tech them. What the heck, Goofy? You cost me like 120 experience. I hope you're happy. I wonder, actually, I think I found a better way to do this, which is if you get really close. Yeah, if you get really close, you don't even have to dodge roll through it. I completely forgot about that. When I was younger, I thought the only way to do it was to time the dodge roll perfectly. But I'm pretty sure when I got older, I figured out you could just, like, get right up behind him and do this. Yeah. This is way easier. And way more reliable. Hey, having fun yet? Yes, I am, actually. Now that I've remembered how to do that properly. Oh, we're doing this again already. Okay. I'm not in the right... Yep, I was not in the right position to pull that off. That was on me. I did that very wrong. Hades, I'm always having fun, man. That's a lie, but he doesn't need to know that. Hey, 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 Hades, watch it. Wish I had text that. I didn't realize we were going to do that again. Here we go. Nice. Get him, boys. Everyone gang up on him. Get him in the corner. Sadly, Goofy and Donald are both far too stupid to ever live through this animation, hey, fun, that yeah. attack. They literally cannot do anything. I'm starting to get warmed up here. You're pretty low on health to only to get be getting warmed, warmed up. up. Just saying. You're pretty low on HP for that. I've been there. Believe me, I've been there. Every gamer has. But come on, man. Oh, it went over my head! How am I supposed to tech that? No, Goofy, stop. Not Goofy. Donald. Donald and Goofy, stop. I'm trying to get some techs up in here. Ah, oh, not this. I hate this move. Ah, oh, nice move, Donald. Don't hear me say that very often. Yeah, keep hitting Goofy. I'll get him in the back. Alright, we almost got him. He's about done here. Donald and Goofy are both gonna go down here, probably. Hey, you fun yet? I can't believe you Donald kept Goofy alive through that. That's amazing. Dang it! Goofy! I like it better when you and Donald are dead when I'm fighting Hades. Hey! A treasure magnet that I don't really want. 
if I have the AP for it, though, it'd be nice. Treasure Magnet is absolutely one of those things where it's like, if you got excess, glad to have it. If you don't have excess, it's worthless to me. That was really bad. I was trying to guard midair, which you cannot do in this game. I don't even know if you can do that in any other cage games. I think you can in three, maybe in two. I don't recall. No, you're not killing me at the very end. That's not happening. I'm telling you right now, it's not happening. You're done, brother. Brother? <laughs> I wanted to say bud and brother at the same time. It's over. 3,600 experience. Nice. in the air in two, but you can in three. Yeah, I thought so. There's Ansem's report eight. I think that, are there 12 Ansem reports or 13? I don't remember. Yeah, you can guard in the air in three, not in two. I couldn't remember if you could in two, but I was pretty sure you could in three. Which is why I tried to do it there, because I, three was the last cage game I played before this one, if I remember right. Pretty sure this is my first time coming back to a cage game since I did three. Since I did remind specifically. Alright, there we go. Take that. The Requiem. There are no green Requiems! How can you have a team called the Requiem and you have no green Requiems? That's madness. Oh dude, that angel died so fast. There's very few things better in KH than killing an angel star before it actually gets to be a problem. It is an amazing feeling. You'll kill that one before it uses lightning invisibility. Dang it! Goofy! Goofy! I'm gonna have to blame that one on you, brother. There we go. Ezra Scarlet, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Three invisibles and a stealth sneak, excuse me? That's a little much. I mean, three invisibles alone is a little much, but giving them a boss as well. Invisibles, like, if they had more HP, they could be a boss all on their own as far as I'm concerned. All right, this stealth sneak has got to go. It is way too big, unnoticeable, and just annoying. Like, trying to deal with the invisibles while this thing is alive is a pain. And if I have to hit some invisibles along the way, awesome. I love the black stealth sneak. It's so cool. I'll tech your eyes. Don't think I won't. I probably won't because that takes a lot of effort. Help. Goofy, thank you. All right, stealth sneak down. His body will remain on the field as a trophy until I kill all these invisibles. Please let me hit. Ah, dang it. I just hate how many enemies in Cage 1 have invincibility frames. Or like really long invincible animations, like the invisibles do when they do the sword and stab in the ground. Just so much time of having to wait before you can hit them. Is that all of them? Are they... I guess they're done. Nice. Three white mushrooms. Do I even want to bother with doing this right? I guess I will. I don't really have the magic. You know what? Nah, just get me out. I'll do this one. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Oh, but they can't even drop anything because it's the, the Hades Cup. Why are they even here? They're completely worthless. That's so dumb. Oh, no. Fail. Why you do me like this? So many shadows, so little time. Oh, come on. Man. Don't block. 
not be when I'm killing everyone. Very rude. Oh my goodness. Donald used thunder and it killed him. He used up all of his life force to cast that thunder. This looks like the last wave. If this isn't the last wave, the next one has to be, surely. Isn't there like an unknown amount? Isn't there one where it's like an unknown amount of invises as like the third seed or something that's gonna make me really upset? Pretty sure there is at some point. Hi. Bye. This should help. Nothing to it. Two stealth snakes. I knew that this was a cup somewhere. I gotta be honest, I love the stealth snake. They're not an easy enemy to deal with, but I feel like fourth seed of the entire Hades cup is a little much. Honestly, they could have third uh they could have thrown in a third one. Stealth sneaks aren't that difficult. They're definitely not one of the easier bosses of the game, but they're not, like, insane. Excuse me, you're a 1 HP. Yeah, I was about to say. Stealth Sneaks really only get annoying when they start doing the laser eye thing that they were just doing there. Otherwise, they're not too bad. In my experience, at least. Sorry, bud. You know I had to do it. Yo, Goofy, give me that MP gift. I know you got one in your back pocket. Wyverns, Wizards, and Defenders unknown? I demand that everyone be accounted for before they are allowed into these games. Got into Tales of Vesperia because of how much we talked about it on YouTube. I'm obsessed now. Really? I mean, I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's surprising considering I didn't like Tales of Vesperia. <laughs> But hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it. A lot of people do, it just I guess it just wasn't for me. Ow. God. How did this guy get down to so low health? Goofy, what the heck? You destroyed that guy. Oh, there's still more. I thought we were done. I think after this, it's like an unknown amount of invises and uh, star boys. After this, I think, maybe Dark Falls as well. I don't remember. Got him. Oh, what the heck? Is that it? That was it. Sounds like unknown angel stars and, uh, etc. With how much you spoke of Tales of games. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, Dark Fall, angel star, and invisible. This sucks. Here we go. Uh, especially if you like Tales of Vesperia, I highly wec uh, recommend words. I can't talk. Uh, I highly recommend looking into uh, Tales of Berseria. It's an easy, accessible one. And uh, if you have a 3DS, I'd really recommend looking into Tales of the Abyss or PS2. You can probably emulate it on PS2. Actually, is the best way to do it. But if you want to like own a physical copy, I played it on 3DS. <laughs> And then, uh, if you have a PS3, you can do Tales of Graces, Tales of Zillia, and Tales of Zillia 2. All very good. Would highly recommend all of them. Tales of Symphonia is on PS3 as well, I believe. There are a lot of them on PS3. There's too many Angel Stars. This has actually been surprisingly not that bad. Considering that, like, six of these things spawn. That's normally a lot worse. Only got an Xbox and a 3DS. Would highly recommend Tales of the Abyss on 3DS. It's my second favorite Tales of. Very, very much recommend that. And then if you have a if you have a PC that can like play games, like a decent enough PC, Tales of Berseria is on PC. So if you got a decent PC, I'd still heavily recommend looking into Berseria. I hate these invisibles. Let me kill you. Got you gotta go. You little baby dark side freak. Oh my goodness, there's still more of them. 
Oh, this is the final round. It's like three angel stars. There are no two angel stars. Like four and it's like three invisibles, four dark balls, two angel stars. This is a nightmare. Like I hate everything about this. I can't tell what's happening. Someone please send help. I like I need some things. I need to like target an enemy and kill it. Okay, there we go. I need some kill. Get these dark balls out of here. They die fast. Need more of these freaks out. You gotta go. Go. Oh, wait. No, don't guard. You're so close. Let me kill you. Ow. Stupid angel star. None of this. Got him. Invis, you're next to go. Unless you use your sword move and you didn't. Sucks to suck. Alright, I think it's just this guy and he's dead. And then it's just you, bud. Get me to that final seed. Stop this. No, come here. Let me hit you. You're so close. Got him. Oh, man. Get me out. Oh, this music. The Rock Titan. I thought he... I, no, I'm thinking of the Ice Titan. As a, I was about to be like, doesn't the Rock Titan have some kind of like an intro thing? But nah, it's the Ice Titan that does, I believe. He has like a big intro thing. It's really neat. A little cutscene leading into him. Unfortunate that all my tech boosts don't give me more than one tech on his feet. Help. Hi. Oh, do you also have an HP bar that's too high? I think. I thought Hades was the only one, but maybe it's Hades and Rock Titan. I think they might be the only ones. Up. Seems like he has too much of an HP bar for me to see at all. No, don't stand up. Just let me keep hitting you. Help my camera. I'm dying. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah, now his HP is dropping. Let's go. Do you actually take damage from getting hit in the foot? I thought you only took damage from getting hit in the head. Oh, he mad. Thank goodness for second chance. What Tales of games have you played, Chaos? Uh, starting from the oldest to the newest that I played. I played almost all of the newer ones. I played like there are, so there are 16 games in the Tales of series. 17 after in the main series. There are more than 16 games. But there are only 17 in the main series. So... Only counting the 16 main series, because I haven't played any of the spin-off ones. I have played Tales of Symphonia, which is the fifth one. I played Tales of the Abyss, which is the eighth one. I played Tales of Vesperia, which is the tenth. Hey, HP up, let's go. Uh, then I played... I haven't played the eleventh game. I think that's either Innocence or Hearts, one or the other. I haven't played that one. But, uh... So, five, eight, and ten. And then I played twelve on. So 12 is Graces. That hit I didn't know the hitbox would work like that. I played Graces, which is the 12th game. I played Zillia and Zillia 2. That's the 13th and the 14th game. The 13th game, Zillia. The first Zillia, that's my favorite Tales of game. It's also like my favorite game of all time, basically. Very, very basically tied with Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, hey, please die. Then uh, I played Tales of Zestaria, which is the 15th game. And I played Tales of Berseria. Got him. Tales of Berseria, which is the 16th game. And then Tales of Arise is the next game coming out sometime next year, which is the 17th. Trinity Limit. I don't remember what that is. Big fan of the Hercules world, though. Really love it. Is Trinity Limit? 
Channels the party's remaining MP to crush surrounding foes. Minimum 3 MP costs all MP. Oh yeah, it's like neat in theory, but sucks. <laughs> yes. Yes, combo master. Thank you. And then who cares about jackpot? Will you be playing Arise on here? Oh yeah. I'll be streaming Arise the day it releases. 1000%. Guaranteed. I love the Tales of games. I'm hoping to go back and play one of the older Tales of games before Arise comes out, if I have the time for it. Depends on if Arise gets a release date anytime in the near future. But I want to go back and play probably the first one, which I think is Tales of Fantasia. Alright. We're definitely, by the way, we're definitely not going to have enough time to uh, finish the main game today. It took way longer to do the Hades Cup than I thought it would. We've only got about an hour left. So, we're gonna go and try and get through most of it, but first I wanted to go here. Where's the green trinity you were talking about earlier, Wolfen, that was here? Because I want to see if I can wrap up the last of the trinities. Dalmatians are done. Hades. He got absolutely stomped. Rock Titan. Got stomped. Pot Scorpion. Cool enemy. The Destroyed Behemoth. Very specific. Oh, these stupid invisibles. Angel Stars. The Sneak Army. A Heartless similar to, but more powerful than the Stealth Sneak. I always just thought they were more Stealth Sneaks. Coliseum's good. Easier to get on it from the treetop area. 